Chess friends, how are you? Magnus Carlsen is the top-rated chess player who defeated three chess masters together in a blindfold chess. Stockfish is the superior artificial chess engine, who won the world's computer championship more than 16 times. Today I played with Carlsen in an online match where I sacrificed my rook. What we fear of doing most is usually what we most need to do, so let's go. I started the game with e4, we have c5 knight to f3 d6, you can play here d4 or bishop b5 check, so after knight c3 knight c6 we have d4, center exchanges and e6, creating a border to block the bishop entry diagonal, so I played bishop e3 with the idea of playing long castle in there, and push the king side army to attack black in right side of the board, so after some moves later we have knight b3 bishop e7 f3. My intent is very clear that I will push my gh pawns in future, Magnus was playing in Fide Championship and I was playing with him some practice matches, black will push his queenside pawns to create troubles for my king, therefore I will push my kingside pawns to create problems in black kingside, it's so amazing to see the best chess player in the world played opposite side castle and struggling against stockfish, my strategy is very clear and sharp to involve the knights in queenside. Then play the knight a4 to move to the b6 square and get a great position, we have bishop d7 king b1 a4 knight c1 to go d3 square or knight a2 to go b4 square if needed in future, Magnus is a very nice guy but I feel really bad when I defeat him badly, however chess is a war between two players, one must win and the other must lose, we have knight d4 queen f2 rook here rook c8, Inferior humans might think of playing g5 or bishop takes knight to win up the free pawn. But this is a wrong move because of bishop f6, it will contaminate the diagonal, queen here then black will capture the knight, after takes the defile will be open, it will create troubles for you so back to the position, if you dare to play g5 then black will sacrifice the knight, takes queen b6 check king here then black will sacrifice the knight as tempo, takes takes and that's it, black is going to take the pawn bring the knight and involve the rook on c-file with bishop support. It will bring disaster for you. Almost everything will work again if you unplug it for a few minutes, including you, so back to the position, we have some standard moves, Magnus is trying to defend his position as well, f6 is an interesting move, so Magnus played bishop g4 to target the rook, any normal player would think of protecting rook, but they would never think of playing rook takes d4 which I played in the game, even if I sacrifice my rook for a pawn against Magnus, it will not affect my position because I stockfish. Better than 1000 Magnus Carlsen boys, the bishop gets the great diagonal, knight will come to the d4 square to create pressure, knight b4 will come to support his brother, bishop d3 will be a reasonable choice to consider, rook g1 move will try to get this open file, my h pawn will create pawn structure problems for black, so Magnus responded with f5, h5 bishop f8 h6, that's an amazing move, Magnus have to play correctly otherwise he will be checkmated, if you play any 69 lo move for example rook b8, then we will play bishop c4 check, king has to run then queen h2, I am threatening to checkmate him by capturing the pawn, so you has to play knight f6, so after takes takes bishop takes knight. This is coming so h5, here we will play the brilliant move queen takes pawn, takes takes and it will be a checkmate, the way I see it, if you want the rainbow, you gotta put up with the rain, so back to the position, Magnus takes the h pawn, takes and I am threatening to take the pawn, play queen g3 to access this file, so Magnus responded with knight f6, bishop d3 takes, bishop to b5 to target the rook, if you dare to protect the rook for example rook e6 then we will play queen g1 to target the bishop and knight at the same time, so king f7 bishop takes knight, queen takes f6 queen takes g4, looks like the position is safe and secure but after rook c5 bishop d7, rook here bishop takes pawn, black position will be totally dead lost, because the king is very unsecured and wild open, so back to the position, we have bishop f3 to counter the rook, so rook g1 check king ups, what should white play now? Bishop takes rook wouldn't solve the problem, it will secure the black king and his position, because white will lose all the attacking opportunities, so back to the position, if you play rook to b8, then we will capture the knight, takes queen g8 check, king has to run then rook g7 check, 
you might take the rook with bishop and you may think that the position is little bit secured, but there is checkmate in few moves, king d8 queen takes e8 check and it will be a mate, so back to the position. We have knight g4, and you shouldn't take the knight because of bishop takes f3. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.